Hey guys, uh, this is Mac10, as you already know if you're watching this channel. So today we're going to do a little bit of analysis on patch 6.77c. I know I am completely filthy looking, I just got off work and I actually paint um, as a part-time job right now, so that's why I look so messy. But um, patch notes are um, pretty old, I feel like they're a week or two old, maybe three weeks old. But the repercussions of them have become more and more apparent as time has passed. And I've wanted to make this video actually several days ago, but I've just been very, very busy. I've been playing a lot of Heart of the Swarm. When I do have free time, I'm remodeling part of my parents' house for them, because um, I'm going to be moving out fairly soon. So, yeah, been very busy. Anyway, Tranquil Boots, disabled speed, reduced from 50 to 25. Heal, increased from 170 to 250. The cooldown increased from 40 to 60, and the heal duration increased from 10 to 20. Now, overall, I think that um, the heal is a the heal is a slight buff, but the movement speed nerf is so huge, it's definitely a major nerf to the boots. The boots were initially designed to be a boot that was a really, really solid uh, heal and a support option, or a, and a cheap option for supports. Um, the boots became a very popular item for carries because you can just last hit, and then as soon as you get low, you can run behind your tower, use the boots of Tranquil or Tranquil Boots, you heal up, and then you're back at decent health, you run back into the fight, and you also get bonus armor and regen from them anyway. It's like, it it made, it'd be retarded for you not to get them. It's way more efficient than a ring of health, too. So, they were a really, really, really strong item, um, and now they're not so strong. I think, I this is probably the only thing that I'll put in my own personal opinion as far as balance goes, but I think that the disabled speed reduced from 50 to 25 just makes supports that much easier to kill. And it makes it so you have a lot of collateral damage with people like Crystal Maiden and other supports that just, like, um, really need that speed. So I think if the disabled speed were what it was before uh, and everything, all the other changes were left, it'd be fine. But um, basically, the idea behind this nerf is to make it so these uh, boots are less likely, less likely to be picked up by carries and more likely to be used for supports. Um... Illuminate mana cost increased from 150 to 160, 170, 180, and the AoE is reduced from 400 to 350. Um, the AoE reduction is pretty straightforward. Um, the biggest thing about the AoE reduction is it makes it so that you have more time to get to either the left or the right of where the Coddle is casting, or the top or bottom, depending on what direction he's casting from. So basically this nerf just allows people that see a Coddle Blast coming at them to get out of the way, versus before in the early game especially that Coddle Blast could start channeling if you don't have boots yet and you're dead set in the middle of the Coddle Blast, then by the time you go from Coddle here and you here, by the time you go from here or to here, you were just fucking dead. That's how it was. Now you actually have enough time to get to either side without taking a very large amount of damage. Um, also makes it so Coddle requires a little bit more skill, which I like um, as someone that's played Coddle probably a hundred times, I think. Um, <clears throat> and, of course, going... You can't run this way because the AoE is just 2,000 and you're, you're going to die. So, um, the mana cost increased from 150 to 160, 170, 180. That's very good because uh, prior to this patch, uh, well, it's, it's not, it's, it's, it's a good, it's, it's appropriate. <clears throat> I'll leave it at that. Because at your level 2 chakra, you get uh, 150 mana. So, you could essentially, if you were going to be the pushing coddle, uh, you could get. You can max out Illuminate, you could get one point in your ultimate or one point in, in your uh, your mana leak, and then you could just get two points in Chakra, and the only thing you would need for the entire mid-game were those two points in Chakra, and you'd have loads and loads and loads of mana. Now you actually have to get a third point in Chakra really soon. Like, if you want to do that nothing but channeling Illuminate shit from Coddle, you need to get that third point uh, in Chakra uh, by level 5. It's actually like, well, let's see, level five. You need to get either. It forces you to choose between your ultimate, a level in mana leak, or the level three chakra magic. And if you're gonna be pushing, you have to save the ultimate. You have to sacrifice the ultimate and get that third level of chakra magic, or you're just not gonna have enough mana to cast illuminate consistently because it costs 180 now. So it forces a little more decision making out of the player, which is good. <clears throat> Spike Carapace duration reduced from 275 to 2.25, and the Spike Carapace cooldown is increased. 
Um, Nyx Assassin is a hero that is designed to be able to instantly kill supports and instantly kill under farm carries. That is his role. I think that's appropriate. Ice Frog obviously does because he didn't mess with that. The problem with Nyx right now is that Nyx can go mid against almost anyone, and as long as he has a bottle or a magic wand, depending on the hero, he can just completely, totally shut them down because his spike carapace is so good. Before this patch, he could use his spike carapace to reflect auto attacks constantly, and it was fine. Now it f it forces... It's a little more skill-dependent as far as the skill itself, and it also forces a little more decision-making because... You have a half second less of Spike Carapace, which means there's a half second that you're vulnerable. Like, a half second earlier, you will be vulnerable again. In addition, because the cooldown is longer uh, per level up until the last level of it, you can't just constantly spam Spike Carapace as much as you could before the patch. So, it's a good adjustment to Nyx. If you're a defensive Nyx Assassin player, if you're not using Nyx to just, like, uh reflect Coddle's Blast. If you're using Nyx for his ganking ability in the mid-game, this does not affect Nyx at all, and he will still be played consistently in the highest levels of Dota. He might not be a first ban anymore, but he, he could. He could still be a first ban. He could he could still be a first ban. He'll definitely be played a lot still. Marksmanship bonuses removed when there are no enemy nearby enemy heroes instead of just being halved, and reduce marksmanship enemy detection AoE reduced from 400 to 375. This is really good. It makes it so Drow Ranger can actually get killed by melee heroes when they get close enough. Like a really, really fast-moving melee hero, or a hero that just... A hero that has the ability to get up close and personal. Like, an Ursa with a BKB and phase boots will probably catch a Drow if she doesn't have a Shadow Blade and can kill her. And I know Ursa's a terrible example because he's nothing but a pub hero, but that's still relevant information, and I think that this is overall a very, very good change. I really like this. Um, it's one step in the right direction, and the right direction is having Drow Ranger back in the hero pool. And as Drow s currently stands, she's too fucking strong to be in captain's mode. So, um, this is good. <clears throat> I like this. It's making her, um, less broken as shit. Um, it's definitely, definitely a good change. Um, I'll just kind of leave it at that. It, it makes it so she's more easily to be killed. That's pretty much it. The reduced marksmanship enemy detection is just a, it's just a slight like buff, but the marksmanship bonus re removed when there are no nearby enemy heroes makes it so when someone really gets up in Drow Ranger's grill, she essentially is useless unless she's super farmed already. Okay, now for that. Heaven's Hailbird Disarm is no longer dispelled by Manta. Um, that's very, very good. I like that change, specifically for the reason that nobody ever gets a Heaven's Halberd or Heaven's Hailbird. And ideally, we want... Ideally, the way that Ice Rog is taking this game, and StarCraft 2 does the same sort of thing. Um, Dota always has sort of done this, or at least this is the direction that most esports are going. They're trying to make it so that all strategies, all items, and all heroes are viable in some situation. And Heaven's Halberd is one of those items that is virtually never picked up by anybody, unless you're someone like a uh, Doombringer. Uh, he's the one that comes to mind. But actually, no, that was Rod of Atos I was thinking. I actually don't know anyone that picks up Heaven's Halberd as a standard item. But a slight buff to Heaven's Halberd, just a slight buff to these items that are considered shitty because they're never picked, is always good. Um, that's all I have to say about that, really. Living Armor Damage Reduction is now done for all instances of damage that reduce its charges. Um, that's good. That I feel like that is more of a bug fix. Like, previous Living Armor behavior, it would eat up charges from all damage sources, but only absorb some damage from phys heroes' physical attacks. Like, I think at level 4, it's 80 is the maximum damage it will absorb per attack. Um, and now the new one, it will eat up char It still eats up charges from all sources, including magic like Poison, like a Venomancer Tick, I believe, takes it off, uh, like his passive. Um, but it also absorbs damage from them as well, which is really important because, like, honestly, I would have thought it would have anyway... So that would mean like something like a Venomance or Poison would still remove your living armor, but it wouldn't do any damage because the Poison ticks wouldn't be uh, more than the minimum that the living armor absorbed. So um, overall, I think it's I think these are pretty good changes. Um, I don't like the Tranquil Boots speed reduction as someone that generally plays support. I really, really don't like that. Aside from that, I think that all of these changes are pretty appropriate. I don't like the Coddle nerf, but that's just me because I'm a Coddle player. Uh, but overall, I think that this patch is 
I think it's very good. I think it's um, called for in this sense. So anyway, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, complaints, um, if I got if I screwed something up completely wrong or you think I nailed something, please let me know in the comments for this video. Um, I'm going to be doing hopefully one Dota 2 video every week from now on and one StarCraft 2 Heart of the Swarm video every week from now on because I'm really, really starting to get back in Heart of the Swarm. Um, I've only played a few games, but I'm really, really, really enjoying it. Cleared the campaign, all that good stuff. Playing one or two games of that and one or two games of Dota every day and then the weekends just sort of grinding it out. But anyway... Thanks for watching. Um, I'll see you next time. You can follow me on Twitter at MacX10. Please don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you found it informative. I'll catch you next time. Sorry I'm dressed like shit, and bye-bye.